Seeds germinate in just two days. It's the fastest germination without soil. You don't have to wait 10 days for the first sprouts to appear. Just 48 hours and two kitchen products. Today, I'll use cucumber seeds, but you can use any seeds. I'll prepare the seeds properly. It will protect them from diseases. I'll use products that I have in the kitchen. Do the same as me, and you'll be surprised by the results. Pour 250 milliliters of warm water into a container. The water shouldn't be hot. Lukewarm is enough. Add half a teaspoon of granulated garlic to it. Stir until the garlic dissolves. Pour the seeds onto a sieve. Pour the garlic water over them. The seeds on the sieve must be submerged in water. Garlic disinfects and protects the seeds from diseases. It's bactericidal. After a few hours, rinse the seeds with lukewarm water. Place them on a paper towel. Brew chamomile. It can be regular chamomile tea. When it cools down, spray the seeds with it. Chamomile infusion prevents the growth of harmful microorganisms. Thanks to it, the seeds don't rot. They germinate better and healthier. Transfer the seeds to a drawstring bag. Close the bag. If you notice that the seeds are dry, spray them with chamomile again. Within 24 hours, and certainly within 48, the seeds will start to germinate. It's the best way to quickly germinate seeds. Since I've been having back problems, I've been using a broom for planting. Also, prepare some empty bottles. You'll see that planting has never been easier. Let me show you a great trick. Cut off the bottom of the bottle. Then, make four incisions on the remaining part, but not all the way to the cap. Cut out two sections from the four walls created by the incisions. This will create a peculiar funnel shape with two longer sides. Repeat this process with the other bottles. Cut off the bottoms of each bottle and make similar incisions as with the first bottle. You'll find that the longer these two sections are, the better. Get a broom or a brush ready. It can be an old one or something you don't use. The longer the brush, the better. I happen to have one like that. It's important that it has a pole attachment. Get rid of those synthetic fibers, remove them all, or at least the outer ones. Place the first bottle edge onto the brush. Ensure that the longer sides wrap around the brush and the bottle's edge is beneath it. Attach the bottle to the brush using hot glue. If you're using a wooden broom or brush, a staple gun will suffice. Attach the subsequent bottles in the same manner. Since this brush isn't too long, four bottles were enough. And there you have it. Attach the pole and head to the field. Take the bulbs you're planting. Mark the holes with your bottle brush. The soil should be well loosened. You don't have to bend over to mark the planting spots. Place the bulbs in the holes and cover them with soil. And that's it. You can make such a marker yourself in a few minutes. And it will be just what you need. Brilliant, isn't it? Take a roll of toilet paper and sew carrots, beets, or parsley. Toilet paper is sufficient for sowing vegetables with very tiny seeds. You don't need to buy more expensive seeds on so-called tapes. You can make your own seed tape. The tape is useful for sowing vegetables like carrots, parsley, beets, lettuce, or onions. Small seeds are often sown too densely into the soil. Elderly individuals also struggle with bending down. Using seed tape makes sewing easier. So, take a regular roll of toilet paper and compare it to a store-bought seed tape. It doesn't have seeds on it yet, but that's about to change. Unroll the paper and fold a few sheets. Once you have a substantial amount, lay them out on a table or countertop. Grab a spray bottle filled with water and moisten the spread out paper. Its whiteness is an advantage as it makes the seeds visible. The seeds will stick to the moist paper. Therefore, spray the paper evenly. It shouldn't be too wet or it might tear. Take the seeds. I have carrot seeds. But as I mentioned, they could be seeds of other vegetables. Sow them on the paper. Since they are visible on the paper, you won't sew them too densely, and you won't need to bend down. Most of the sewing work will be done now. Fold the paper with seeds in half and gently roll it. This homemade seed tape costs next to nothing, excluding the price of the seeds, of course. Now, all you need to do is go to the field and lay it out. Then cover it with soil, and you're done. In this case, carrots are sown. 
I don't have to spend hours bending down or endure the chill of the spring wind. Never plant garlic without this. Watch this video before planting your garlic. This will ensure large and healthy bulbs. Garlic doesn't have many pests, but one of them can significantly reduce yields. It's the onion fly, also known as the onion maggot. It emerges from the soil in early spring and lays eggs in immature onion and garlic shoots. Garlic cultivation is also affected by fungal diseases. That's why it's best to protect garlic from the moment of planting. First, prepare the soil. If you have wood ash, sprinkle it in the field where you want to plant garlic. It will provide essential nutrients and protect against pests. Take the garlic and separate the bulbs. Prepare all the cloves you have for planting. Discard damaged and small ones. Pour water into a second container. One liter is enough for this amount of cloves. Add a tablespoon of salt. Stir until the salt dissolves. Place the garlic cloves in this brine and soak them for at least 15 minutes. If possible, leave them for up to an hour. Then remove them and let them dry. Make holes in the soil with the end of a rake and place the garlic cloves in them. You can also plant garlic directly into the ground without preparing holes. Cover the garlic and you're done. This treated garlic will be protected from diseases and pests. You can also sow carrots between the garlic. These vegetables protect each other from pests. Why are cucumbers packed in plastic wrap? The reason may surprise you. Why are green cucumbers wrapped in plastic while other vegetables are not? Producers of this vegetable often opt for such packaging. It might seem like plastic wrap is an unnecessary addition that generates unnecessary waste. However, it turns out to have an important purpose. Cucumbers are one of the most popular vegetables purchased by consumers. In stores, there are usually two types of cucumbers available, field cucumbers, which have characteristic bumps on the skin, and greenhouse cucumbers, which have smooth skin. The latter are packed in plastic wrap. To understand its purpose, one must delve into the structure of this vegetable. Cucumber consists of over 90% water, which provides its elasticity and also contributes to its taste. The plastic wrap is crucial for the transport and taste of this product. It turns out that precise protection of the skin with its help is essential. It prevents water from evaporating from the vegetable cells, ensuring that we buy fresh, firm, and juicy cucumbers rather than dried out, soft, and spongy ones. The plastic wrap also has a purpose in transportation. Greenhouse cucumbers are often imported from other countries. It protects them from being crushed and, when vacuum-packed, shields them from mold. Despite protection from contamination, it should be remembered that such cucumbers should be washed before eating. Although packaging them in plastic wrap may seem like an environmentally unfriendly solution, without this protection, the vegetable would have no chance of reaching our stores. A more environmentally friendly choice may be field cucumbers. There is no need to pack them in plastic.